Nosweithalpalv. Earlier this week, I had the privilege of being invited along to the launch of the new social enterprise initiative, Bro Morn. I was chatting to one of the directors, Alwyn Rowlands, and reading through the new excellent Bro Morn website, and some words really stood out. Signposting and sharing of expertise, skills and experience. Don't be shy. We're here to help you be part of the best for our communities. And my favourite on their website, Bro Morn is like the arm around the shoulder. That sounds like a Welsh cuddle to me. Our island is not dominated by large employers. Yes, we've got the council, Stena and RAF Valley, but it's largely smaller businesses that employ a handful of people. From Phil at Anglesey Brewhouse in Llangefni, to Tony at Red Boat Ice Cream, or to Cara at Seeping and Rosniger, who makes amazing jewellery from sea glass. It is these entrepreneurs that are the backbone of our island economy and our communities. It really is all about community here on the island. I think that the care everyone has taken to look after the vulnerable and those shielding has meant that we have one of the lowest rates of coronavirus across Wales and the rest of the UK. I visited the new community craft shop in Amlock last Saturday and bought some lovely Christmas decorations. And at the Christmas fair in Primaris last year in the sports centre, where I first met Alwyn, that seems such a long time ago, all the businesses and the stalls around the sports centre were all local businesses ranging from Aberfoyle's gin to cards and jewellery. Bromorn is all about sharing experiences, so I thought I'd share with you some of my journey. This time last year, I was teaching young adults maths. They all wanted to be entrepreneurs. Their favourite TV shows were The Apprentice and The Dragon's Den. And they expected to have two or three or even four jobs and to be working from a coffee shop that was warm and had free Wi-Fi. The secondary school near where I work was so geared up to preparing these youngsters for life as entrepreneurs that as the students walked in every morning, they would pass through these glass offices that were rented out to local entrepreneurs. I'm a real believer in economic empowerment, particularly for women. And I volunteered for a charity called Into Work that helped people back to work by helping them set up their own companies. I became an expert in businesses ranging from Ghanaian textiles to Spanish yoga. But what these people really needed was support and encouragement, someone who believed in them, someone who listened and someone to share their journey with. Mentoring is an opportunity to make a real difference to people. Anglesey has one of the lowest GVA in the UK and people are always asking me, how can they help? And I reply, you're a lawyer, you're an accountant. Why don't you mentor someone? Reach out and help find somebody that can't find you. Bro Morn is reaching out and providing mentoring. I'm keen to encourage and support entrepreneurs and to showcase the talent we already have here on the island to encourage others. And I've started these free events called Make It Your Business, where I would invite along four local entrepreneurs to talk about their journey, what worked, what didn't work. I had 19 join via Zoom last month. They joined for many different reasons, because they were starting their own business, because they're looking to invest in a business. They wanted to mentor someone, or one woman admitted to me, she was just lonely. My next Make It Your Business event is next Friday the 11th. It's via Zoom and it's free. It's six o'clock till 7.30. If there's anyone listening that would like to talk about their journey or would like to join in, please drop me a line via my website. What all these people have in common is the desire to start their own business. I really believe that entrepreneurs are the backbone of our communities and the lifeblood of our economy. I went to a great talk by Professor Dylan Jones Evans from Bangor on entrepreneurship at the beginning of this year, pre-lockdown. He was saying in North Wales, we don't seem to have a culture of entrepreneurs. Bangor University doesn't seem to get that many people coming forward asking for help. And we're missing out on a rich seam of talent. So it's great to see Bromorn doing something about it. I'd like to end by saying, coronavirus has been the worst crisis to affect this country since World War II but it's also brought out the best in communities all over Arnest Morn. We have people reaching out to help each other. We've seen some great community spirit and some incredible hidden heroes like Stace Weeder that do so much for others. People have been making the best of it and using it as an opportunity to change their businesses or their way of working. I think we're going to see so many more people working from home. There is so much talent here on the island. I'm keen to shine a light on it. 
And as the Member of Parliament for Honest Morn, it's a privilege to be able to support initiatives like Bro Morn and their team and board of directors who have so much experience and talent. I wish Bromon well and I look forward to working with and supporting them. Jochen Valve.